Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the glow panel that's found in the develop module of On One Photo Raw 2018. Now, what the glow panel will do, it will allow you to add an ethereal glow to your image. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of that glow look, but I will do my best to demonstrate this panel for you. And I chose this image because this image has a wide range of tones. We have some very bright areas and some relatively dark areas and a lot of mid-tone in the picture. So I think that will help you understand how the glow affects the different tones that may be found in an image. So for this image, I started out with some basic tone and color adjustments. Then I added some luminance noise reduction. And of course, I did lens corrections. Now, to add glow to the image, we must fetch the glow panel. And to do that, click on Show More, and then click on Glow. Now, right away, when you look at the glow panel, it has kind of what is typical for On One Photo Raw 2018, some preset styles going across the top. Now, On One always calls these styles. I tend to call them presets, so I decided to compromise and call them preset styles. But as you can see, they're going across the top. But before I even touch upon that, just let me explain very quickly that if you come in here and start moving the sliders around, of which there's only two, a mount and halo, that if you do not move a mount off zero, you won't see anything happen to your image. So if I move halo even all the way up to 100, you'll see that you won't, you won't see anything happen to your image. So be aware of that. But, as I mentioned, we have these preset styles going along the top, so let's talk about those. When you click on them, it's just going to give you a look. And the look will actually vary depending on the tones that are in your image. So you, won't, you will not get a consistent look by clicking darker, let's say, every single time. It's really going to be image dependent. So you really have to go through all these preset styles to see how they might affect your image. So we'll click on normal and you can see how it adds this kind of blurry glow to the image. And with normal, it seems to affect more of the midtones and the shadows. Now we'll click on lighter and you can see that it brightened the image up considerably and it did add a bit of that kind of glow to the whole image, I would say. Now, one thing about these preset styles, like the other preset styles we, we've seen in other panels, you cannot stack them. So when you click on one, you're overwriting the previous one. And the next one over is darker. And when I click on that, you can see how it had made the image a little darker. And it, you know, added a bit of this kind of blurry glow to the image. Now, to the right of this is a drop-down, and you'll see that there are a lot of these preset styles in the glow panel. And the nice thing, again, about On One, we just need to hover over them, and you'll get a preview of what that preset style will do to your image. So, very quickly, we'll go through them. There is Angel Glow. There is Black Soft. There is Change More Normal. <laughs> there is sorry, charge more. So that's charge more normal. I'm not sure what charge more means. Charge more strong. You can see that's a very heavy uh, effect. Charge more subtle. Dark glow. That affected my image considerably. Now, again, if you probably pick something like dark glow, you like it, but it's just dark, you're probably going to have to go up to tone and color and either adjust exposure or shadows or something to brighten up the image. So don't be afraid to do that. You could always go back to any of the previous panels and adjust those as well. So after Dark Glow, we have Darker, then Deep Forest, then Diffuse Glow, then Dreamland, then Hollywood Glow, then Lighter, Normal, 
we touched upon those already with the preset buttons over here. Orton Clean, that's the Orton look. Those of you not familiar with it, that is more popular with portraits where you give your uh, model kind of a Orton glow to their face or their body. Orton, Orton Here's a Who. They're getting a little cute with the names. Radiance Glow, Rich Glow, Strong, White Soft, White Soft No Darks. Those look pretty identical to me on this image. Again, these are image dependent, so you'll put them on one image and they'll look one way, and you'll put that same exact glow on another image, and it may look totally different on that second image because it really depends on the tones that are in the image. So those are all the preset styles. Now, as far as these actual two sliders, and you'll see there's a drop down here. This is really what um, affects the glow on the image. So what I would suggest you do, if you don't like any of the preset styles, but you do want to add some type of glow to your image, is you're going to have to turn a mount up. So turn a mount up fairly high. You could always come back in here and turn it down later. And then turn halo somewhere in the middle. Then what you could do is go to this drop down and it's called modes. What these really are are blend modes and the first several of these are actual blend modes that are found in Photoshop. Blend modes are something that was popularized in Photoshop that allow you to blend one layer on top of another layer. So how do the two layers interact with one another? It depends on how you blend them. So you use blend modes. Now, in the case of On One Photo Raw 2018 on this glow panel, what you're doing is how are you blending the glow to the image? So it's as though the glow was a layer and the, the image, of course, is the background layer. So how do you apply the glow to the layer? Use one of these um, blend modes. And the first several are actual blend modes that are found in Photoshop. So if you go over Lighten, You'll see with a mount up to 73 and halo on 50, this is the look you'll get. Now, if you really like Lighten, you could click on it and then you could come in here and I'd say go to halo first and better dial in the halo so it looks like something you want and then adjust a mount to apply it properly or in your style or what you're how you're feeling creatively creative in a creative way, let's put it that way, and you could apply it specifically to your image. Now, again, we'll turn them back up and we'll go back to these blend modes. Now, darken is an actual blend mode that's found in Photoshop, and you can see how it kind of made the whole image a little darker, but particularly made the uh, mid-tones and shadows a lot darker. Now, multiply is going to do it even more, so it's like darken on steroids. Now screen, I kind of wish they had screen up by lighten, because screen is really lighten, but lighten on steroids. So you have darken, then multiply is like stronger, then you have lighten, and then screen is stronger. Next is overlay, and overlay technically is supposed to affect the midtones more so than the highlights and shadows, but in the case of On One Photo Raw 2018's glow panel, it seems to affect the highlights and the shadows and leave the midtones more alone. Now, the next three modes are not blend modes that are found in Photoshop. These are unique to On One Photo Raw. Below overlay is overlay strong. You can see that did very little to the image. It seemed to uh, cut into the highlights a little bit. If you look at the highlights of the grasses that are in the foreground, when I hover over overlay strong, it seems to knock those down a notch. Below that is spotlight. It gives you us I, I don't know what to how to explain that, but it just gives you a different look. And below that is spotlight strong. And you can see how it really added a lot of blur or glow to the midtones when I went to Spotlight Strong. So again, if you like something like this, go to Spotlight Strong, let's say, and then dial in the halo to get the effect you want. Then come up on the mount and bring it down to something that you think you like, and then maybe come in and readjust halo. So come in and move these two sliders around once you settle on a mode 
that you like. And if you're happy with it, then you could do a before and after by turning on the and off the panel by clicking there. Now, if you've created a glow that is unique, different than any of the existing preset styles, and you'd like to recall that glow in the future for a different image, you could create your own preset style. So to do that, you would go over to this more drop down, and at the bottom you'll see Save New Style. You would click on that and give it a name. So in this case, let's just call this Tony's Glow. And we're going to click Save. Now, on a future image, if you came in here and you even had these set to reset to um, their basic settings, you could go to the drop down, and you'll see at the very top there is a preset style called Tony's Glow. Hover over it, it gives you a preview just like the other preset styles, and then you could click on it and you'll see that it's the exact settings I had used. So I created my own style and I could use that on future images. Now, if down the line you say, well, I liked it, but I really liked Halo up higher. So you could come in here and let's say turn Halo up higher and you could update your preset style to reflect that new setting. To do that, click on more and then go down to update style with current settings. Click there, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna do that? And you're gonna click update. Now, every time you click that style, Tony's Glow, it'll get that new updated settings. Now, in the future, if you find that you have a style and you're not using it anymore and you wanna simplify this drop down menu, you could delete any styles that you created. Click on more, go down to delete a style. It's going to ask you which one. Now you'll only be able to delete the ones that you created. You won't be able to delete any of the ones that are preset in the glow panel. So we could delete the one I created, Tony's Glow, and click delete. And then you could see it's no longer there. So that is how you create a style, modify a style, then if you want, delete a style. And that's pretty much everything you need to know on the Glow panel and on One Photo Raw 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.